All right, so I'm going to do a review on the eye socket iPhone 10 fixture versus the JC TX BAS. You see it? TX BAS iPhone 10 fixture. Um, I just did this two seconds ago, and then my video got corrupt. So I don't I don't know if it's a computer. No, it can't be a computer issue because I've been using this forever. So it's got to be a it's got to be my video recording um, thing. Okay, so. Why did I have two of them? Well, <laughs> the problem is with this eye socket, which I bought months ago. Um, I think it's all jacked up. Well, I know it's jacked up because I'll tell you why. All right, because this the top side has a groove on it, but the bottom side does not have a groove on it, which means that this is an iPhone 10 logic board here. Okay, it's made up of two logic boards sandwiched together like this, and then there's a ring. You see all the dots here? There's a ring on it that detaches which connects the bottom logic board to the top logic board okay well the problem is is this with this with this eye socket is that uh, let me see if I can figure out how to put this on no I don't know what I'm doing here man this is not that hard is it okay so the problem so confused. Okay, so this is great if you don't remove this lower ring. Okay, it's great, all right, because you can just pop this on, whatever, and it, it'll work like, like normal. Okay, whatever. Uh, sorry, I gotta put the top one on. And this this will work fine. Okay, this will sandwich it, whatever. And 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 you're you're in business. Okay. <clears throat> but the problem, <clears throat> the problem with this one is that when you need to take the the pads also rip on the pads also rip on the the bottom side of this. Let's go and get it to focus. Focus. So the bottom the pads also rip on the bottom side of this here. So if I take this ring off, this right here is no no longer going to work. Oh, sorry. Dang it. This one. This one is no longer going to work because there's no groove here, um, which means that, which means that, when I when I put this down on top of it, the pins aren't going to touch the pads because these chips are 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 higher than the pads are. So this is this is no longer work going to work if I need to take this take this off. Um, so I had to buy this one, which is the JC TX BAS. Um, if you notice, the difference with this one is that. There's a groove on this side and there's a groove on this side, which means that I can take this middle layer off. Which means that I can take this middle layer off and then sandwich the two boards together um, like that. Okay, which I'm finding that you, if you have an iPhone 10 with no touch, um, it's always going to be the one. It's, it's always going to be the pads on the bottom side that's that's jacked up, I think at least. So. Uh, so if I were to buy a new one now, I would definitely buy this one because it's also it also has this little connector here, which this is the charge port connector and this is the battery connector. And as you can see, you can actually, you can plug in a battery right there, or you can plug in USB C USB C port and uh, power the iPhone that way. All right, this this is great. Yeah, I think this one was like 220 bucks. So I would recommend this one now um, if you were to buy one. And I took a poll on Instagram, and a lot of people said that they did they did have the groove on the bottom. And well, it was 50/50 actually. Eight people said they had a groove on the bottom. Eight people said they didn't have a groove. So I'm assuming that I bought this. Like I said, I bought this like six months ago, and I'm assuming that um, I'm assuming that they fixed it probably in a later iteration of this eye socket. And if you notice my eye socket, it doesn't say Quan Li on it, which I think is the maker of the current eye socket. So if you were to buy an eye socket now, I would probably definitely confirm that the groove is on both sides. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of pointless. Um, so look for the one that says Quan Li. All right. So I don't. I really don't know if I'll even use. It. I'm going to try to get a refund on this or something. I don't know. That's what Sanjeev says, at least, because it's so damn expensive. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to put this one aside, um, and this is the one I'll be using from now on. It is 
JCTXBAS, all right? So I think I'm going to probably just stop this review here. And I'm, I'm going to create another video on how to repair an iPhone 10 with no touch. Um, I guess I'm going to copy Jessa or something. No, maybe I won't copy her. But anyways, it's time to get serious about iPhone 10 repair because there's going to be a lot more coming in shortly. And probably in a year, well, in a year or so, two years definitely, uh, most of the repairs are probably going to be sandwich boards, unfortunately. <laughs> so, we got to learn how to do it. Uh, Alright, thanks for watching this review video. So, I just wanted to say thank you for watching this channel. And I wanted to promote our online micro soldering course. Um, we have it hosted at udemy.com and it's at this point it's four hours of video instruction um, the reviews are pretty good um, and we talk about everything from the basics uh, of, of an iPhone logic board um, and then we have a section on ZXW tools um, we have a little section about how to set up your hot air rework station your micro soldering um, station and how to use diode mode. Uh, the third part is the three most common repairs which is no touch, no backlight, no charge. And the fourth part is all about data recovery. So um, if you go through our website it's a hundred bucks and some people say that learning online is not the best way of doing things or you can't learn micro soldering online. I beg to differ. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I started watching YouTube videos when I first started about three years ago, and that's how I learned it. Um, and not only that, but you know, you go to a live course. Some people like live courses, but not everybody has three thousand dollars to spend on a live course, right? So, um, and then yes, you're right. You can go to YouTube and watch all these videos, um, but you're not gonna. When people make these videos, they don't go from A to Z. They usually start from somewhere in the middle because they assume that you watch something earlier on or one of their earlier videos. So this course is all-encompassing. It has everything from A to Z um, to help you get started in micro soldering. And we are adding stuff um, on a weekly, maybe monthly basis. And we're, we're gonna just going to keep adding to this thing. And um, so if you want to get started, just... I mean, you can also take a class, but, uh, you know, to get your feet wet, I think this is the best thing to do right here. And I vouch for it. Um, thanks for watching the video. I was also going to say, um, in order to buy it with a discount, $50 discount, just go to microsoldering.com, click on store, and then it's going to be the first item on here. You click on buy at Udemy, and that will give you the $50 off. Thanks.